This will be a basic tutorial on how to import and export buildings using UO Architect. Um, the first thing you have to know is that you need to be logged into the game with an account that has the access level um, to be able to edit the statics within the game. Um, if you're a staff member, you probably have that access. Once logged into the game, um, open UO Architect, and then the first thing you should do is go to your options, set the path to your client directory, and set the paths to your multis. Um, it'll highlight green in the background if it's able to find your multi files using the path that you've entered. If you've accidentally entered it incorrectly, it will highlight red. So once you have that set, then you should go to connect and in the login manager you will choose add to add your account to your architect. Once you've chosen add, you may name it whatever you choose. The IP address will be given to you by your staff administrator. The port number by default is 2594. Uh, if that's changed, your your, um, your shard owner or host will let you know what that is. The username is the username that you use to log into the game itself. Uh, whatever your staff username is, we'll go here. Once you've created that, you hit save. And then you come back and choose your account to log in. Type in your password, save your password if you choose, and then you hit connect. This will now say disconnect as your option, which means you are now connected. Once connected, go to the database, and UO Architect comes by default with some buildings. You can get other buildings um, online at uoarchive.com or different websites or trade them with your friends, um, wh whatever your administrator for your shard might give you specific buildings to use, um, or you may have created some yourself that you want to extract into your architect. Um, for now, you choose, in order to put one into the game, you choose one that you'd like to use. These are our options. And I'm going to go and choose a fairly small, simple structure. It's a small brick tower. It consists of 170 pieces. So it's fairly small. If you would like to see what an item looks like before you place it, you simply choose the preview button. And it will show you what an example of what the tower looks like. Um, you can resize it. You can even see the different floor views of what each floor looks like. Once you're satisfied that that's the building you want to import and put into the game, you choose it and you choose the word build. Now comes a build GUI. You hit build once again and your cursor will be placed wherever you would like that building to put. There we are. Now if you are unhappy with the placement of the building, you can, as long as you've kept this open, you can now move the building as a single entity. You can raise the z-axis level here, up or down. You can move it by more than one, whatever you choose. You can even lower the building so that it becomes, the, the first level is now a basement, if you notice. Um, if you log into the, if you walk into this and you go down to the first, what was the first floor, it's now the basement and you can actually um, lower a building so that the basement, it creates a basement. So once you're happy with the placement of it, um, you can close this, but if you aren't, you can continue to move it around. The blue arrows will, will change the direction within the game. And just like with 
the z-axis arrows, you can move the building by more than one tile by simply typing in a number here to use the three arrows. If you decide that this building is not what you wanted or it's not where you wanted and won't fit quite how you'd like it and you don't want it in the game anymore, you simply click the erase button and it deletes. Now if you've created a building say in Green Acres and you are going to import it into a different part of the game you can go to that part now and then rebuild your building. Um, once you're satisfied you can close the dialog box. Now please keep in mind that your architect is not just for buildings. Um, any static items can be made. You can use, I've used it to do um, underwater deco. You could use it to do an entire um, dungeon. It could just be trees and, and a park that you make. It doesn't have to be a building. Um, it's just most commonly used to build structures. Okay, now let's go over quickly how you would export a building that's already made in the game. You go to Extract. You will probably have these, three, these four um, clicked, chosen and um, you could get more specific and if you only wanted say the first floor or second floor you could change the z-axis of the um, extraction and only pull those particular um, tiles or those particular items out. Um, once you have decided what you want to call your building you simply name it here and I'll name it the default category that you are given when you create an item is usually unassigned, unassigned. So we'll just keep that the same so that you can see where you will find the building. Now our previous tower was 170 items. Um, usually this will start as zero, it'll say zero. And what you do is you choose extract once you have your location designated click extract as you see it says you have so far extracted zero items you will pick the top right corner you see if you if you are looking at it as a diagonal item this is the top right spot. So you will click that first and then it says target another location to complete the bounding box at which time we want to come down to this bottom corner and if you're still thinking of it on the diagonal now we're coming down to the bottom corner and we click there and we should be extracting look at that 117 items. So now we have extracted our tower. Let's check to make sure that our tower extracted correctly. We go to our database and remember we left it to unassigned unassigned and our tower. Okay. Preview. Voila, we have our building. Now if we would like to re-import our building back into the game, we simply choose it, select build once again, build, and there we are. And it's as simple as that. That, that will end our first tutorial on how to import and export a building using UO Architect. Thank you.